Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Every organization has various departments like HR, marketing, sales, customer support, consulting, and many more that somewhat deals with customers directly or indirectly on a daily basis. These departments need to maintain a list of the customers under various sections and segmentation with all the relevant details for carrying out the businesses. The data of one department may differ from another according to the business requirements. There might be possibilities where the stored data gets corrupted or erased or inaccessible due to technical failure, or teams may need to cross-function sometimes to carry out a certain business, transaction, service, or order to cater to the needs of their customers. Instead of maintaining data of so many customers at various different places, what if the entire data of all the departments are stored in one place? It could minimize the risk of the associated problems with it and also make things more facile for all the departments. In order to solve this complex issue and save business time, we can create a customer master comprising the data of all the customers stored in one safe and secure place that will act as a single source of information for departments across. Microsoft Dynamics D365 can be leveraged for the same as it helps create, store, and maintain customer master based on various data sections ranging from personal details, miscellaneous details, sales demographic details, credit and collection details, etc. One can use whatever they need based on their business needs and requirements. In this tutorial, I will walk you through how to create a new customer in D365 based on general details, followed by subsequent tutorials on various other sections that will cover things like miscellaneous details, sales demographics details, credit and collections details, etc and how it can efficiently be used as a single source of information. So, let's get started. In order to create a new customer in D365, first, click on the Account Receivables, followed by Customers and All Customers. From the above pane, click on New. Now, enter the details of the customer account. It can be numeric, alphabetic, or alphanumeric. Enter the customer group details. It is used to classify customers as domestic or international. For the customer we choose from the drop-down menu, the corresponding terms of payment are automatically selected. Terms of payment refer to the terms used for the payment process. Now, click on the delivery terms and choose from the drop-down menu. It refers to the terms used for the delivery of goods or services. Select the mode of delivery from the menu. It could be rail or air. These are not mandatory fields. If there are any sales tax groups or tax exemptions, select the same in their corresponding fields followed by source code. Companies that produce printed catalogs can use these source codes to track the customer response to catalogs. Source codes are often printed on the back of a catalog and are entered in the sales order when a customer makes a purchase. In the next tab, Enter the address like country, postal code, street, city, state, and contact information like fax, phone, and email ID of the customer, and click on Save. The test customer has been created now. The name of the customer will be test customer in this tutorial. For the subsequent tutorials, we will use an existing customer. With this, we have come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you have understood all the steps and methods involved in this process. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next tutorial where we will discuss credit and collections, payments, and financial dimension sections.